have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long and it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started and we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. And looking down the list of names, it does look, Jim, as though it's going to be a 5-3-2. Well, it's an attempt, Peter, to put a solid bedrock in place and negotiate the game from there. If they can absorb what comes towards their box in the early stages, then the midfield can begin looking for more of the possession and can start thinking about a more probing influence on the contest. It all depends on keeping their goal intact, so they won't have to open up and indulge in, in taking risks at the other end. You're just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Mehdi Benatia. He's a dominant one-on-one -on -one defender, Peter, and rock solid in the air too. Like most top-class defenders these days, he's, he's comfortable on the ball and rarely resorts to just hoofing it upfield. A great combination of physical power and wily footballing intelligence. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. And it's played forward, well positioned to make that interception. Hakimi. That's great strength on the ball. Lovely feet. He's had a go! Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. You can only admire his attitude with the determination he found to, to get close. And that has been cleared. Forward it goes. He's put it on the right now. What's on? He's left his man. Great run this. He's covered quite a distance. And it's Zayek. Looks to clip it forward. Tries to get it clear. Played back in. Good challenge, he just stood firm, dashing forward at pace. Looking for space out wide. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Got offside that time. Tries to get it forward quickly. Buffal. Only partially clear. And it's half time here. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Some first half thoughts. It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that.
Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. So off we go once more. Qatar, pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half-time. They've been lacklustre and, and second best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling off from the boss, it's this one. He has to spark a reaction. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Long and direct. Oh, that had to be more accurate. Hoist it forward. Hoist it forward. Floats one over. This is promising. Keeper's ball. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Lobs it in gently. And a shot! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stopped. It was such a clever idea to lift it into his path. So here comes the substitution. Forward it goes. And it's Belanda. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Gets wrestled off the ball. And that's a foul. Three kicks been given. He has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Belanda. Zayek. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Moments here from securing what would be a really commendable draw. Zayek. Morocco to make one last surge forward. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. And here's Bella. Belanda! It's there! Listen, it's a massive contribution to help his team in front again, and his determination and stamina has enabled another late addition to, to typify his commitment from, from start to finish. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway.
Morocco take the lead. And there goes the final whistle. So it ends 1-0, an enthralling game and an agonisingly narrow defeat. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Well, look, it was certainly a lot closer than I expected it to be. It was anything but a foregone conclusion. So that's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and good afternoon all.